You've just got to hope that your phone a friend knows more than you do if they're going to help with the big money questions. Chris Tarrant's here after more hilarious aunties bloomers with Terry Wogan. Crafty rummage around the BBC's drawers. <laughs> Gather together a comedy of errors many never seen before on British television. This is the show that keeps in all the cock ups and cuts out all the best bits. <laughs> For those of you who remember Crossroads will get the general idea. <laughs> but before we embark on this mass destruction of professional reputations, there's something we desperately need to explain. Throughout the show, you'll hear quite a lot of this. Now, when you hear <laughs> all it means is that a mild expletive has slipped from the lips of a frustrated television performer. <laughs> and you just have to use your imagination, probably covering up something like Heavens to Betsy, <laughs> Fiddle Dee. Now, you'll hear a lot of high-sounding talk from people in this business about how difficult it all is. Don't believe it. Television is as easy as falling off a log. The 82nd Airborne Division of the American Army are among the toughest troops in the world, held at what is known as instant readiness. <laughs> not one week's notice, not one day's notice, not one hour's notice to go into action, but instant notice. The American Army has a long history of arriving in just in time to save the day, and it goes right back to the days of the earliest settlers, when traditionally the cavalry would gallop over the hill. <laughs> to save the settlers. And the American soldier has always been an integrated part of the American way of life. <laughs> now, you've got one here. I gather that you've practically had to rear yourself. Well, I can't claim to have reared it myself, but Marina, the girl who looks after all our llamas, and my wife, started off by feeding Caesar eight times a day. In fact, Caesar's, Caesar's mother had sadly died before he was born. Uh, she had complications with the birth. Caesar <coughs> was subsequently... <laughs> 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 This is the one that really caused the problems, and it's caused off for him too. Oh, he seemed to lose all confidence. He just threw that off. He caught his thigh in the handlebars. You can see him holding himself. Oh, dear. And St. John's ambulance man uh, trying to get there in a hurry. And he probably needs some treatment in a minute. Nick, Nick the promoter. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is... Uh, one shouldn't laugh. The call out uh, took a nasty knock there, but this is uh, a bit like the Keystone Cops down there. <laughs> no, one shouldn't laugh. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how popular I'd become in the BBC canteen ever since the word got around that I was going to be putting this programme together. I've been shard with jammy dodgers and towed in the hole by some of television's most illustrious names, all desperate not to appear on this show. <laughs> Well, it should be known that I cannot be bought, not at any price. So Rick Mayle, John Cleese, Chris Tarrant, Jasper Carrot, Sue Lawley and all the rest of you, your sordid attempts at corruption were all in vain. My silence couldn't even be bought by the most persuasive voice on the box. We need six millimetre PLY... I don't know, what's PLY? Ply. Ply. <laughs> <laughs> um, eight feet by four feet sheet. Right. Does that sound right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been given a list, so I, I'm not exactly au fait with uh, some of these technical terms. Nails. Come back 
catch you on buckets and sponges. Do you have those? Oh, wonderful. We, we need 20 large buckets and sponges. <laughs> Sorry, snooze. Mark, is that Mark? It's Chris. Chris, is Mark there? Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Texas. Can I help you? Oh, hi, it's Annika again. We've had Hello, very bad trouble. problems with our um, mobile phones. <laughs> I should say so. They call it the curse of the corpse. Corpsing or laughing at the wrong moment. Is as old as entertainment itself. As any schoolboy has ever sat through assembly knows, when a fit of the giggle strikes, there's no known cure. And the more you try to stop yourself, the worse it becomes. Let's bring out our dead and revive the corpses. Ah, Briggs, Louis. Been looking for you too. You don't mind if we don't salute, sir, do you? <laughs> Call them into problem. They want us to handle something very big. Very, very big. <laughs> this will be the biggest thing I've ever had to have. <laughs> well, I would like a pee. Did you? That's a relief to everybody. Slightly. Slightly wrong. It takes the initial of the piece as well as the initial of the page. Yes, I see. Well, wait for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Solicitor has gone on a long, long journey. <laughs> 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 Mr. Solicitor has gone on a long, long journey in his momo. And he won't... <laughs> Thanks. 